I am Dr. Sisiko Kumalo, uh, a Harvard South African fellowship recipient, and I was a visiting fellow in the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. What the fellowship has done, what the fellowship did, is that it gave me exposure to people who had established new areas of research over extensive periods of time. And this is the one thing that I'll definitely say to anybody who's interested in the program or who's thinking about applying for the program is that Africa and the world meet at Harvard, right? You don't have to go to the world, the world goes to Harvard. And I think that the Harvard South African Fellowship Program is a great space to be able to do that because it invites people, especially in its new iteration and even in its historical context, it invites people who have been historically marginalized in the context of South Africa, that's why it was in, inaugurated, to read at a global institution with incredible resources and immense support. People who had extensively worked and who continue to work to establish new areas of research in their various disciplines. When the Center for African Studies awards this fellowship, they are looking for people who will bring a wealth of experience and knowledge into the community that is Harvard. What the fellowship facilitates is the ability to sit back, reflect, and think about what it is in your practice that you can do differently and that can be enriched by reading on the program. I think that the program is so well positioned to give to the world through the folks it selects and through the people that come on to this program who deeply care about their country and who deeply care about the, the state of the world at this particular point, at the crossroads in which the world finds itself, who deeply care about that, to take that to the world and to dialogue and to see the humanity of the other. On a professional level, the program has meant boundless opportunities. I have come back into the country and I think opportunity after opportunity, both nationally and internationally. At a personal level, it's been an incredibly humbling experience um, to know that I once shared nine months of my life with some of the world's greatest thinkers of the 21st century. 